Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're just going to make a really cute, simple little bunch of flowers that would be ideal for Mother's Day. So I've got a nice little range of spring flowers. We've got these beautiful uh, ranunculus, and I absolutely love these. And actually, they last quite well as well. I've got some lovely pink Veronica. We've got a few little pink roses, a little bit of foliage. I've got some pistache and some eucalyptus. Now I've got some nice tulips. Uh, some freesia and a little bit of eustoma. So just a little range of pretty spring flowers. So the thing that I wanted to really use is this and I was in um, one of these kind of home decor places and uh, they had these placemats and I thought wow I love the colour but there must be a way of using this. So what I want to do is I want to really use this as our wrap for our little bokeh. And I think this is really quite striking and different. So let's put together the bokeh. And I'm just gonna make this really in my hand. And because of the way this is, I want to make like a little hand tie, but I want to make it so that it's long as well as, uh, well, it's not gonna be like a flat bokeh, but it's not gonna be like a round bokeh. It's really just gonna be quite mixed in my hand. So, as normal, I'm just using my left hand really as a, like a vase. So really it's giving the support to our flowers and I'm spiraling the stems. We've got quite a few videos now showing different hand ties. So whether they're for weddings or for gift, the principle is the same. So essentially you're doing a spiral in your hand and that's what, um, what holds the flowers sitting in this way. So, so I'm just making sure that I actually space the flowers out in our bouquet. And you want to remove any foliage really before you start um, and be consistent with your tying point. So any foliage that's low down is better to remove because then we can just slip that in. So freesia I love. It's a little bit expensive, um, but it's a lovely flower and it really just says the season. And I think actually it's nice to be seasonal. So to have this mix of spring flowers is really very pretty. And I'm just looking to make sure that things are spaced okay. And that's really our little bouquet. So. I want to use a little bit of twine just to tie it off. And I've got a natural twine here. So the great thing with this little bokeh is it could actually just be left wrapped or it can go straight into a vase. Or the person could take it to bits and uh, put it into a few vases actually. But I think for Mother's Day, mums are busy people so they like to just have something that's complete in itself. So this is our little mixed bunch. And I just want to look at the stems. Now, most of the stems are coming to about here. So we'll just trim off and make that a little bit neater. But I don't want to take away the length on those flowers because you're paying for flowers. You don't want to make them shorter than they need to be. And now we can look at our mat. So we've definitely got an outside and an inside. And this is uh, interesting. We're not wanting to hide our flowers. We're wanting to really bring them together. Now you could use a pin to hold that, uh, but actually that's quite firm. So I'm just really holding that with my left hand and just get a bit of twine on it. And we can tie that off. So I like to go around things twice. So really just a simple, pretty little bokeh. And then it's up to us how we finish this off. So you could use uh, some ribbon as a contrast or you could even use twine and make it quite twiny. So let's do that. So I think uh, let's just take some of that. And so all I've done is just roll that round so we're making like a bow but it's not a bow 
and I think this will be much kind of more earthy and organic looking. But it depends on the person you're going to give it to or you're wanting it for. If they're very more blingy, you can bling this up or you can just keep it really simple. And then if you wanted, you could add a little bit of detail. This is what I thought with the pin was we could use the pin really just to secure that. And if you're worried about it skewering, then just go back in. And there we go. We've got a simple, delightful little bokeh that any mother or grandmother would love and the ideal gift for Mother's Day. So if you've enjoyed today's video, click here to subscribe and keep up to date with all our new designs.